Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. Guys, um, things are taking a, a bit of a different path from here in. So as we know, Call of Duty's done. Valorant's definitely done. Apex, CS2, Fortnite, it's all done. There's no saving the FPS genre now, it's, it's over. Now, I want to give that 15 seconds of fame to that little boy who so desperately needs attention from my previous video. He's the most recent commenter, by the way. Please say something to him in the comments. Um, he's a very sad permaban little boy and he really has no really kind of a future ahead of him. Um, yeah, so there's your 15 seconds of fame, buddy. Um, now you can leave the video and go elsewhere. All right, guys, so for the rest of you that are actually watching the video, what we're doing is basically moving forward, um, leaving FPS behind, um, more focusing on single player games and uh, also the Star Citizen discussion once again. So coming up to five years, Star Citizen is moving into 4.0 <laughs> any day now. Uh, and uh, yeah, what I want to do is basically get back to what I really was trying to do in the Star Citizen community so many years ago now, or basically five, if you look at the most recent uh, relevant Star Citizen content, aside from the AVX video, is get back into the more creative side of what I was doing. So years and years and years ago, I put together uh, the first storybook for my organization at the time. So what I'd done in the interim, and I'd totally forgotten about, obviously, because I had so many other things going on, uh, is I've written the second book. And so what I've just done in the last couple of days, I've got gone back through it. Uh, look, these are draft written copies. There's no animations and wonderful effort put in. These are just books. So it's kind of put your phone down, listen in the background, some lovely space stuff going on uh, on the screen aside from that but it's more about the, the core story. So I want to see with the new people that come to the channel and the old ones that are coming back, hopefully, what your guys take is on where I'm taking the story uh, from chapter one, now to chapter two or book one, book two. Book three uh, and so on are going to obviously start escalating. Uh, there is a real... Um, backstory going on within that um, some of it is actually pertaining to actual law uh, that is in star citizen and obviously my uh, organizations my stories pathway in which that exists within so yeah guys um i would really like some feedback on the especially the second book um that goes up so i'll be uploading the second one first and then the first one second because you know youtube uh, and that's not gonna, I'll be back to front otherwise, uh, today. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up of what's going on now. I've moved away from FPS. I'm moving away from all of the drama and all the cheating and all the, the hardware hacking and just all the nutcases really in that, in that genre. Like I think it's over. So I want to go back to Star Citizen. Now I know Star Citizen has a very salty community right now and a lot of grumpy people and a lot of stuff going on. I'm not here to add to that in any way. I'm here to just continue on with what I was trying to do, and that's get my own story out there into the community to have them ingest, and new people hopefully, and maybe let's look at using this time that we're still gonna have to wait quite a while for to do something constructive in the Star Citizen community. Let's do something creative. Now we've got Utho, all right? Utho does fantastic music. Um, we've got tri -Eye, which I'm not too sure if he does videos of Star Citizen, uh, Star Citizen anymore. Oh, I hope he does. He, he's, he's a genius, so is Utho. And I'd really like to engage back with those fellows to look at maybe bringing some life to my story as well. So whatever in-game cinematography we can achieve 
to bring light to those moments, especially, I won't go into the stories, I'll ruin it for you, but yeah, it, it would be really fantastic to have visuals, uh, actual motion graphics supporting certain parts um, of what we can achieve now with only having soul um, to mimic um, those environments and situations. I think that would bring a lot of life to the story as well. Um, and yeah, just go from there, guys. Just do something creative again instead of, you know, in, in the case of the FPS scene, not destructive, but authoritarian. I want to get back to being more creative and having, enjoying what I'm doing. Yeah. So moving away from drama, not trying to take on drama back in Star Citizen and get involved in that anymore. Uh, I'm 45. I'm almost 46. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm in December, right? So I, I don't have any more time left to do a drama and, and social politics. Look, server meshing, it's not really server meshing yet. It's multi-threaded server workloads trying to balance out populations in game uh, and and deal with the the issues with database servers that aws amazon are offering them now if you want i can actually i will cover the nvidia hopper um, gpu servers for the server meshing side of things once we get more towards citizen con next year when we're actually looking at you know actual server meshing becoming a thing so shards as i said multi-threaded servers they're not the actual shards um, within a single environment they're a shared server uh, across they're a shared environment across multiple different servers but those servers aren't just racked together they're throughout data centers so one's over here one's over there one's up there one's around there one's over there behind us they're not in in situ with each other I can go into the much greater detail if you guys like in later videos as well, which I probably will anyway. But I just wanted to kind of get this off my chest, get it sorted, get it um, the, the message clear that I'm done with the FPS. Um, I may play some Bat New Battlefield when it comes out. I'm, I'm probably going to play, or maybe not, GTA 6, depending on how work that goes. Uh, and yeah, just, just kind of expand out. But it's my main focus moving forward, doing creative things within the Star Citizen community and also the universe itself. Talk about the tech side of it, obviously, because I'm an IT guy. I own my own IT business, so it makes common sense that I do that. But I'm not going to drill down and complain and be a grumpy bastard about it like certain other YouTubers we know. Uh, and and that's, that's their stick. That's, that's their, their gimmick. That's cool. That's fine. Good for them if it's, if it's making them happy and and that's what they like to do good for that then you've got the the toxic positive positivity youtuber <laughs> or two and that's their stick that's their gimmick that's cool i don't want to be one of those people i want to be somebody that is doing something positive in a stagnant environment and continue on with something that i'm really passionate about and that's sharing a story my story and hopefully other people will be interested in that story and follow as well. And if you are into that story, we can create that reality eventually in Star Citizen itself one day. And the, the reality of what you read in the stories is all about being the good guy. Doing what we have to do to get by financially, yes. But at the same time, being the good guy, not being the bad guy. Pointing out the shortcomings and the gains of being the good guy as well. And that's what this, this story series is about. So guys, look, I just wanted to quickly put this video up, just make it clear that things for me are changing in my YouTubing career moving forward and also my streaming. So um, I will be streaming, as I said, single player games, more importantly, multiplayer stuff, uh, Subnautica 2 is coming out in 2025 and it's multiplayer. So uh, yeah, that'll be something I'll hopefully be doing on stream with a bunch of uh, five to four people, I think it is, or five. Uh, that'll be really interesting because I've just gone and finished finally after leaving it on the shelf for so long, half finished below zero. So yeah, 
I'm ready for that as well, that challenge coming up. So guys, give me some feedback. Tell me what you think about what I want to do with Star Citizen, what you would like to see me cover with Star Citizen now, aside from server meshing. Let's try to keep the conversation more positive because there is more than enough negativity around Chris Roberts and what's going on with the Calders and the development and Bobby Pop, uh, Bobby Papa Gorn. Um, yeah, that happened. Uh, and I didn't cover uh, Citizen Con this year because uh, you know why. If, you, if you're a Star Citizen follower and you've watched Citizen Con this year, it was just not worth my time, was it? No, no. So hopefully next year um, we will see something of contingency um, and context. More importantly, uh, Squadron 42 demo. Oh my freaking Christ. Okay, this is Chris Roberts' textbook. If you've ever played the Wing Commander series, which I think a majority of the audience for Star Citizen and who play Star Citizen are too young to actually have ever done, that are actually, you know, still engaged with the project in some way or another. This, this is, this was the best thing. The best thing Chris Roberts has ever created in his entire existence. Now, yes, the game's going to taper off from that epic battle situation because that's the pre pro -uke. That's before this guy gets his start in the UAE forces, right? Into the Marines or the... Yeah, the Marines, I think it is, isn't it? Or the, the Navy. Yeah. And everyone's going to start somewhere. So you're going to be that guy starting somewhere. And then you become a citizen. Oh, my God. Imagine, right? Because that's the whole purpose of Star Citizen. Anyway, I'm not going to get too facetious. I'm just saying there, there's been some feedback from other YouTubers who have been far too judgmental, far too unknowledgeable, and haven't followed any of the law to date. And it, it, what, what? Well, why are you making a YouTube video on Squadron 42 if you have no understanding of how this all comes together in the first place and Chris Roberts' background in game development specifically? Let's not talk about his movie career for obvious reasons. What he has put together, if he is still part of the project, etc., so forth, I'm not entering into that speculation and conversation ever again this is what i mean I'm, I'm really trying to be positive now guys if he is still with the project and he has actually been the driving force and the actual focus of this which it looks like from my experiences of chris roberts over the last how many years of my life a lot that this is the pinnacle of his life endeavors actually coming to fruition finally and there are people out there who are salty and there's people out there who are not salty and just toxically positive i'm in the middle as always honestly pick this pick that go for it it's it's a work in progress still these things and these feedbacks will filter through by the time we finally get it now 2026 look we had 2016 already 2026 we're not getting 2026 guys just just be aware probably about 2028 uh by the time we get the full every chapter released etc so forth and we get the full actually finished product finished um no, no game that's come out in the last 20 years 15 years has been a full complete release has it it's been day one patch so i'm not being narcissistic i'm not being negative i'm just being realistic okay this is just the culture of game development now it's the way things have gone so yeah guys i just wanted to kind of get that off my chest um i really want to see you guys re-engage with me not in a negative way not in a not in a toxically positive way i just want you to join in with what i'm doing i would love for those other youtubers to take part add their story in their side story into my main story and and then they can live out their dream experience in star citizen in stories at least to, this, to start with right and we, we can have so many offshoots here and once you've read the second book 
you'll understand that there are so many opportunities for third parties to bring in their story and then go off on different tangents and write their own stories on the encounters with the subjugators, the encounters with, I won't say the rest, okay? I'm really, really hope that you guys enjoy what I've put together. It's in draft, so there are gonna be w words missing, short words, A's and I's and stuff like that. There's um, no graphical background uh, that's going to dictate visually what's going on. Um, there is obviously beautiful space stuff going on in the background, very soft music, just to kind of give you a, a platform in which to kind of glance at once in a while while you're listening. Uh, as I said, if people want to actually take this further, uh, we were thinking about doing a movie at one stage, uh, a full length feature in game digital or not in game, but an Unreal Engine 4, Unreal Engine 5 movie. Uh, but the, the coughs were so prohibitive once we'd worked it out. We've got full script. Uh, we've even got um, advert, uh, marketing and advertising videos ready to go. The whole bit, all the scripts are done as well. So if we can maybe um, get community involvement and everyone chucks in a few dollars, we could all have our separate stories on screen together. Just an idea. Um, it's it's something that if there's money in the pockets and $700 million does say people have money in their pockets, maybe putting it to something that you're going to get out of it personally This for the meantime and a lasting legacy uh, for future players who come into the game when the game releases, especially if we've all got our stories and all our, our own separate movies that all interrelate our community and, and society including the bad guys we we could turn this into something much more spectacular and wonderful and positive than stagnation negativity and people arguing with each other and so on right now anyway give me your feedback in the comments of this video the the first uh, the first book and the second book as well Tell me how you want this to move forward. Because I've completely changed tack from the past. Um, I proved a point. That point is still proved. I don't have to keep banging on the drum. It's done. So don't ask me to go back and talk about server meshing every day of the week. I'm not going to. Um, don't ask me to talk badly about other YouTubers. I'm not going to. I just want to do my thing. And I hope that the rest of the community want to join in doing it with me. Uh, then we can make it a community-based effort together. And if you guys need help writing stories, like your story, and you need ideas, we can collaborate, we can communicate. Have, have actually a specific set Discord for that. Yeah, the Star Citizen Community Discord for creative works. And... Have it heavily moderated. No bad behavior, no nastiness, no backstabbing, any politics, any anything like that. You're just shot out the door. And I don't mean woke stuff. I mean game community politics, guys. We're not going to bring in the shitty real world we're in into this either. Please, God. The last thing any of us need. So, if you're keen, hit me up. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll get the ball rolling. Uh, aside from that, I would really like some feedback on the first and second book of where you, you want the story to go as well. Uh, and I'll certainly take that either under advisement or implement um, what your ideas are as well. There's still parts that will still need to be explained in the in the coming books in relation to what's just happened now as well. So don't worry, I haven't missed things out. It's done that way intentionally. And you'll see that between the first and the first book, uh, sorry, the first book and the second book already the stuff that I've already covered in the first book. So yeah, it, it'll all unravel eventually and makes complete and utter crystal clear sense in the end. All right, guys, well, I'm on Citizen Tech Talk. I'm back, uh, but I'm back for the right reasons now, and I'm not going to be deviating from them, no matter what anyone tries to do, say, and and just don't bring me into the, the social drama. I will be seeing my org back up, but it's going to be called the Salvation Org. And because of what you see in the books, I want that to be what I do now. 
obviously I'm going to have, you know, the, the stealth play and all that stuff. We've got to make money, right? But it may not be in the way of PvP. Uh, it may be in the way of... Oh, it, <laughs> org to org business related stuff, yes. But for the most part, it's going to be doing trade to get things done outside of the UAE space, doing escort missions and security work and stuff like that around bases, uh, helping with anyone that may actually possibly have a pioneer. I know, base building, yes. If you want me to talk about that, I actually probably will. <laughs> I'll go into that too. That's that's a bit of an area of contention because we had the, you know, markers to say this is my land, but now how many people have a pioneer? How is base building going to work? Hmm. Um, but I mean, you know, uh, we'll see. And that's what another thing I'll be discussing, but I'm not going to get angry about and try to shit on anybody about. It's just going to be, okay, well, this is where we're at. Discuss things moving forward from a very neutral standpoint. But yeah, stuff like that. That's, that's going to be a big part of <clears throat> what we do to make money. But when it comes down to it, we're all about helping the the community, helping people that have fallen through the cracks, fallen out of favor with their, their orgs for whatever reason, mediate if possible with that org to get them back in. We might even move into that kind of diplomacy side of things. Otherwise, take them on board and if they don't work out for us, well, we spit them out. But everyone deserves a second chance. I believe that, always have. So Star Citizen community, please give me a second chance. Let me turn a new page, flip the leaf, what do you want to call it? Was it flip a new page, turn, turn a new leaf? One of those. Let me start fresh and let me start back to where I was meant to be starting without all the other stuff going on. And that was dealing with the technical side of the game's development and the creative side in what I wanted to do with making my movie. More importantly, going back to basics, finishing off the story to start with uh, and seeing if you guys want to join in with your stories as well. All right, guys, I'm CTT and I will be seeing you around the verse. Cheers.